What is going on YouTube? You know, it's your boy the Fire Ninja Dude back with another video. And so if you can hear the noise in the background, ignore it. This is a video on, you know, it's not on 13 Reasons Why, if that's what you're thinking. It's not on that. This is a video and it's a rant about the Lego Ninjago movie. Now, I waited years for that movie and yet it's bad. It's terrible. Like, I really don't understand why is it terrible. But this is a rant for it. And I hope you guys can sit back and relax and enjoy. And also, if you hear, if you don't want to hear any curse words or bad words or stuff like that, I recommend that you guys leave because I don't want you guys want to hearing. I don't want you guys hearing or some some stuff like that. And so, if you want to stick around, just continue on with the video. So yeah, pretty much. This is the first reason why. The first reason why is because a lot of people wanted to see the Lego Ninjago movie. And yet, since they saw it bad, they already have a critic score of Rotten Tomatoes of 70%. Yeah, that's right, 70%. And 89% of the people wanted to see it. This would hurt the Ninjago community badly. This movie had been a can- well, this movie had been shitty. It's shitty. I'm just saying, I'm not saying that just to, just to be mean. I'm saying it because, because it's terrible. It's messing, it's messing up its content. It's messing it up. 70% of tomatoes and 89% of the people watched it. That's terrible. It's straight up terrible. Like, I literally don't understand where to start from this. Like, this is clearly the first reason why. And realizing that people, realizing... Ugh, I, just, I can't even say anything right because my microphone's all fucked. Now, let's just continue. Alrighty, so the second one is that you do realize that that cat wasn't supposed to be like the actual, like one of the actual villains of this story. It's supposed to be the Great Devourer. Now, this great, the Great Devourer could have been a better, like, you know, a better role model for the movie instead of some dumb old cat laying around people's houses to see some Lego. Like, come on. Like, it's that makes me so upset. Like, I'm so serious. Like, the Great Devourer could have been awesome. Like, seeing how the Great Devourer bit Garmin on. And he could tell the story of how the Great Devourer bit him. And the Great Devourer's on Ninjago City already. They're already destroying it. That could have been better than just some dumb old cat. Now, honestly, this is like the second reason why the Lego Ninjago movie is straight up trash. Now, honestly, I really feel ashamed of this because the Meowthra is not supposed to be a part of this. I don't. I really don't like the Meowthra. And the third reason why is because I feel like Coco shouldn't have deserved a higher or better role. I mean, sure, she plays Lloyd's mom, but yet again, she holds some secrets that Lloyd doesn't know everything about her. Which that which on um, the Lady Iron Dragon, the Lady Iron Dragon. She should not actually play a role in, um, inside the, um, you know, what you call it. Even though the Lady Iron Dragon is Coco, I believe that I felt like she could not did a better role. Instead of in the Garminon's memories, she could not did a better role inside the, um, what you call it, the movie. Yeah, no, yeah, like, the movie itself. Like, now they're attacking the Meowth and stuff. That could have been better. And... Pretty much, yeah, that's a lot I have to say about that one. It's not really much of a reason, but it's my opinion of, like, what like, what role she should be playing. And I feel like she played a bad role. And the, um, the fourth one, yeah, this is the fourth. The fourth reason is because, like, there were so many cuts, like, deleted scenes. And that's, like, the deleted scenes they had was better than the ones that were in the better scenes like okay the reason okay let me let me express my thoughts the reason why the the Lego New Jungle movie the deleted scenes were better than the the actual scenes in the movie now don't get me wrong that those the, the deleted scenes were better because once they did it all over again with a different setting it was straight up trash now i literally don't understand like why did they do it or why did they get rid of the deleting scenes but i feel like it was for the movie and it was like it was again it was rushed so 
it even messed up my hype for it like a lot and so moving on um reason five i think yeah i think this is reason five I, i'm not good at counting so like don't don't blame me <laughs> so reason five is because of they're not like the characters are not getting their own role i mean like in the movie i know it's about lloyd and his dad i don't want i'm like it's about lloyd and his dad yeah we uh, we get it i understand that but i felt like the ninjas should have had like an actual better role now like jay and yeah that could have been an example of a better role or like how kai's life is like or cole's life or zane's life that could have been a better role too I mean, showing that their lives actually played out throughout the TV, um, throughout the um, movie, would have been epic. Now, but since they messed it up again, it got rushed. It messed it up, and I, I don't blame. Like, I literally blame like them for it. But the next reason is because this is pretty much a big impact, like a huge impact. This coll- this leads to a huge impact to um Sons of Garmadon. And the reason why I'm saying this is because like the minifigures that's on like the minifigures for the movie is starting to match from the ones from the show. Now I'm starting to get mad about it. Like it's not that I want I want them to grow. Yeah, I want them to grow. It's no it's no big deal. But because the movie was trash, it messed up like it messed up my perception. Of things how the movie is supposed to like how the show is supposed to be like it's messing up the show's hype because of the movie like we were looking forward to the movie until it got messed up and again rushed which caused the um show which caused what caused me to lose hype for the show now that that really make that's one of the reasons why I'm ticked off now the another reason is because of because of Garmin on like it looked like he didn't even learn it like it didn't even it's like at the end he didn't even learn his lesson or something it could have been involved with him turning human again or something that could have been a better one like if he turned human from the start like not from the start like if he turned like sure he may be bad and like with four arms and stuff like that but like later on as soon or later if he turned good again like like as soon as you may have to spit him back out like something like that or a venom i don't know like they kind of planned something like he could have turned good now that's what i think like it could have turned like 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 garmin could have turned good again and that's when like probably we could have saw his human form or something that could have been even like that could have been better Honestly, he wouldn't be ruling. This wouldn't be happening. It, he wouldn't have had his human form and all of that. Now, another reason is because of Coco. Now, honestly, I felt like this is another, again, this is like another opinion. This is another opinion. And so, again, I felt like during the movie, she should not have told, like, during the deleted scenes, she told her perception of the reason why him and um, her and Garbodon actually, you know, left each other. But Garmin ended up telling the story. I couldn't be e cooler if she told the story and then like her side of the story, and that's when Garmin told his side of the story. Now that would have been even better. But yet again, yet again, it is the movie was rushed. So and the and there's a lot of deleted scenes. It kind of messed it everything up. Like I'm telling you straight up, this movie was straight trash. Like. If I would, if I was gonna tell someone to watch it, I would tell them not to watch it. Like I'm so serious on this one. And the next reason is because, like I said, the movie. Well, like it's not like what I said, but like the movie was. It kind of had a lot. Like did I mention it had a lot of deleting scenes? But like, it's not like because of deleting scenes. It's because like it didn't like show about family. It didn't show a lot about family. You know. Honestly, I don't want to be like more specific on it, but like how the Lego Batman movie and the Lego movie showed a lot about family, like reason, like reasons to be family. It didn't actually show me a reason on why should I have family. Like, it, like it showed me a reason. Don't get me wrong, it did show us a reason, but like it's in, mo- in emotions. They didn't. I didn't feel any emotion in it. Like I really, I hardly did. I hardly did. But in the Lego Batman movie and the Lego 
in the actual Lego movie, it showed straight emotions. You know, it showed straight emotions. Some of it actually made me a little bit cry. Now, okay, let's not get all of that. But another reason why is because of the Weekend Whip song for the Lego Ninjago movie. This what this blowed me off too, because a. Ma'am, that song was from 2011. That was the Weekend Whip song for the Lego and Job movie. That was stupid. It was straight stupid. Now, believe me, I love the Lego movie. I'm Lego and Job movie. Believe me, I do. But realizing it was rushed and how the song sounded like, it didn't really actually do as well. It didn't serve its purpose well. Now, honestly, I believe that the weekend with for this song should have been different. And like the reason why for these seasons, because the reason why for the season and the movie is supposed to stand out. Like it's not supposed to be the same, but it should stand out. Show like show people like why it's all good and all. And now here's another reason. Here's another reason. The Lego and Jog movie plot was was bad because they changed the plot over and over and over now honestly yeah they basically changed the plot over and over and over now they said something about them having trouble in school like their biggest challenge was high school they messed it that they messed the one that one up i mean that could have been good but at the same time eh, i mean it could have been good but if y'all, but like basically, they wanted to show like I, I perfectly understand the reason why that one because they wanted to show emotion and realizing how Lloyd and Garmadon had an emotion together between the show and the series. I mean, between the show and the uh, movie, kind of stands it out. Now I understand. I completely understand that one, but another reason is because like their powers. Now, don't get me wrong. They had they I'm like we we'll explain to them their powers. I have I see no reason of that. But my this is again another opinion of mine. I felt like they shouldn't have showed them doing spin jitsu. Now, realizing if they would have did spin jitsu in the um movie, that could have been even cooler to the um that could have been even more cooler instead of them just showing them their elemental powers. And realizing their spin jitsu could have been used like my my thinking is that their spinjutsu shouldn't have been used to create stuff. That was in my thinking. Like make some kind of tornado creation, create that up. But this time added Nia and Lloyd. That would be an splendid idea. I don't know why they didn't add it. I don't know why they didn't add it. And so okay. Um, this is the number one and last. This is like the last last reason. Okay, after this reason, I'll I'll quit. I'll quit naming reasons. But this one's the last one. Okay, so remember when I said that in two thousand? Remember how I said that we kept on having the wait for like the movie and it turned out to be rushed. That's that's well. I know that. I know I've been saying that a lot lately throughout my video. Um, throughout this video, but it needs to be mentioned because. Realizing they wasted, like, they basically wasted time making this movie made me sick. Now, believe me or not, they should have never rushed through the movie. I feel like they should have took their time with it. And it could have been came out in 2016. I understand why they pushed it in 2017, but if they're going to make it bad in 2017, then what's the point of people viewing it? This is not even going to be, this is basically going to be the first and last movie of a Lego Ninjago movie. That's just... Oh, it just want to make me want to drink bleach. Now, I understand that some of you guys probably wouldn't hate on the, on the Lego Ninjago movie. I understand that. But realizing that it had its ups and downs, it made me feel... It didn't make me as feel as whole. As in, like, I should really, like, continue loving this, on um, what you call it, this movie. And so, yeah, guys... Please come like, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below about the Lego Ninja movie. This